Hi everyone, my name is Professor Merriman. I'm going to show you how you can analyze your voice and compare it to uh, a non-native English speaker or English native English speaker, however. You can compare and it's kind of interesting to look at. I don't know much about this and how it all works. I'm not, uh, I don't have knowledge in speech analysis, but I thought this was kind of fun and interesting to look at. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it. Uh, what I did was I recorded my voice a little just a little clip the world is very large okay so I recorded the world is very large because it has uh, different sounds of very that are are difficult for uh, Japanese speakers because I teach Jap in Japan and then once you have that you are going to open up this program called Prot and the program is available at um, this website just search for P-R-A-A-T and it should come up with this website here and then you um, go up here to download it. I clicked on Windows and I have a 64-bit so I took 64-bit. You also should uh, download the fonts and install those fonts in your fonts folder. Then you open up the program and it looks like this. You'll go to the open and then read from file and then you'll select the um, the file that you made in Audacity or any file that you make anywhere. You can even make it on your phone and then from your Dropbox or whatever. So then you'll click on view and edit. Click on view and edit and then it'll, a window like this will pop up. So what this shows is that, that uh, audio file and then here on these blue lines this is the pitch. So when your voice goes down and when your voice goes up, the separations, the dark parts here are the intensity of the sound. And then if there's nothing there, there's no sound, right? So here you can see what it looks like. So this is kind of interesting because like if I just select here by dragging my mouse over and then press the tab key, nothing is there, right? But if then if I come over here and press the tab key, so, so, so. Though, isn't it interesting how it sounds like though instead of the? Though, though. And then go on to the next part. World, world, world. You can see that at the end of the the wor world, we don't hear the d sound. World, world. And even looking down here, you can see that world just kind of goes away. There's no D sound. World. But if I go to the next section, Liz, 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 Liz. Now look here, you see that there's a there's nothing in between here, but I can hear a rd, kind of the beginning of the next word has the sound of a D to me. Liz, 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 like that. I don't hear is, like a hard is. I don't hear that. I just hear it is. Liz. Liz. So if I put it together, world is. World is. So it's world diz. The beginning of the next word is diz, which is kind of interesting, isn't it? And these are also called liaisons and connections and things like that. So let's look at this one. This looks interesting here, right? And what is this? Go here. Very. 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 Very, so it's, it's going up, very, 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 very. But you notice that the, it sound, the sound goes way down to nothing here, but it starts, it's kind of some, you know, and it starts up here. Very, very. Okay. And if you look at the top over here, we can see where the V starts. Right? There's a there's a break right here. We see a big difference where where something is happening with my voice. I don't know what that's called, but there's a, a, a difference that's happening between there. So where does the V start very? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that. But anyway. All right. So what's this? I don't know what that is. Very, very. Ah, so there's the connection the L is starting there. Right here it looks like the L is starting. 
That's the L. Let's listen again. Very l Very la, right? Very l Very l Very la. Very l Very l So we're connecting that and then lard. 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 Huh? Look down here. Very lard goes down to nothing. Same as the world over here. It, the consonant at the end of world drops off to about nothing. And same here with large. Large. We don't even hear the J. Where's the J? Now this is large. Starts from here and ends here. Large. 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 So it's interesting to me that we can use speech analysis tools like this and show students the difference of pronunciation, where we actually are connecting things. And so I invite you to use the sound file that I'll include in the link of this exact same sound file. Use that sound file and compare your own pronunciation to my pronunciation and see if you can actually copy my pronunciation perfectly and then analyze it side by side might be something interesting. So I thought I'd share that with you. Have a great day.